good to see you. Exodus 32. Oh, and it's 
There's a golden calf and it's next to, next to Mount Sinai. A golden calf? Mount Sinai? Exodus 32, what does all that mean? I don't know. Well, we'd better look in the Bible to see what this is all about. Oh, let's sing the Bible song. Good idea. Let me go get the Bible. They got bored with waiting for him. And so they said to Aaron, Make us a god, make a statue. Aaron asked everyone for your jewellery, take your earrings off and your necklaces off and your bracelets off, and we're going to melt all the gold we have down and turn it into. Are you ready? Ooh, a cat! to worship a cow instead of the true living God that made the world and rescued them out of Egypt. But why would they do that? That seems a strange thing to do to me. Well that is strange isn't it? And you know what? God and Moses were really annoyed because they thought God is the one true God. Not a golden calf. Why are they worshipping that? That thing that was created, not the creator. Hmm. So what did they do to this big golden statue? Did they just leave it there? Do you know what they did? So Moses, when he came down from Mount Sinai, he melted, he destroyed the golden Ooh. calf. And they couldn't worship it anymore. Which is a really good thing, isn't it? But what does all of this mean for us? Well, Explorer Alice, it's important because you and I, well, we probably don't worship a golden calf, a cow made out of gold, do we? No. But sometimes we do do the same thing. We sometimes make things that God has made more important than God. Maybe sometimes we think that money is the most important thing. Maybe sometimes we think what our friends say is more important than what God says. And sometimes we think that even our toys are the best thing in the world, the thing that we want most, 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 instead of spending time with God. So it's easy, isn't it, to by accident even, make other things more important than God, just like God's people did when they built that golden calf. We need to say sorry for that, but we can also ask God to help us to make Him our number one, the most important thing in our lives, and to worship Him only. Great, well, why don't we pray, and then we can sing a song together. Good idea. Dear God, thank you that you are the creator. Thank you that you are the one true God. I do pray that we would not 
make other idols. We wouldn't put other things before you and put them first, like friendships or money or work. I pray that we would worship you as our one true God and worship you as our number one. I pray that you'd help us do this as we go about this week. In your name, Amen. Amen! Amen! And we can sing about our powerful God. There's nothing that he cannot do. Shall yes, we sing that let's together? sing that together. Are you ready? My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing my God cannot do. The rivers are his, the mountains are his. You can get a dice and then you can roll it and when you land on a two you can find the spaces that have the number two in them and you can colour them and then if you roll it again and then you land on a four then you can colour in all the spaces with the number four on it and you can do that until you've completed the whole picture and this can remind you of the time when Erin and God's people well, Erin built the golden calf and God's people worshipped this calf instead of God. So that can remind you of that awful thing that God's people did. I coloured mine in brown, but yes, feel free to use gold to remind you of the story. And then there are also some other activities in the pack. There's this one where you can see what colour um, you should use for each number. So purple for one, pink for two, yellow for three, and you can go ahead and colour in the whole calf. And then there is also a game in here. So if you feel like playing a game, then go ahead and, and print this off as well. So there you go. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, boys and girls. Yes, and we look forward to seeing you again next time. But for now, shall we sing our goodbye song? Yes, we should. Here we go.